Hi, my name's Chris. I'm just going to do a quick review with the ZX40 ribbon printer. This was purchased from myribbonprinter.co.uk. When I come to buy one a few weeks ago, I couldn't find any reviews on one. So I thought I'd do one now. It's about the size of an A4 sheet of paper, footprint wise. Quite tall. If you look inside, you've got the head here. There's your roll of foil. That's waste foil that's been used. Underneath, you'll find the new foil. Not much left on there, it's enough. And down here you've got two purple clips, you thread the ribbon through, through the back, through the purple clips, push it up tight so you've got a good grip on the ribbon, just pop it out the front here, make sure it's nice and level, you push this down here, give it a firm click, like that, close the lid, I'm using a large roll of 15mm ribbon, 100m roll, so it won't fit inside the machine. So I've made like a bracket here. It's just like a bit of cardboard inside of tape. This comes inside the machine, this piece of plastic. I've taken it out and clipped it into the piece of cardboard. It's £30 for one of these on my, on my ribbon printer. So I thought I'd make one rather than pay £30 for a bit of tat. Um, so that's that. It's all loaded in, turned on. Powered by US. So, um, powered by a small adapter block. And it's um, plugged in via USB. Got a win on a Windows 7 machine here. Um, let's try and squeeze it on. on. So, supplied with the machine is Serif. If you open Serif up, start new drawing, custom page. You can see it's all in inches. It's all in inches on here. So, really, you want to work in millimeters. So, if you just click OK on that up to tools, options, layout, millimeters, ok, back to page setup, file, page setup, on here we need to go to, um, so, the width, is the width of the ribbon, which we're using 15mm. The height is the length of the ribbon. I tend to put in um, 1000mm, um, 1, which is a metre. You need it to be landscape, and you need to set all these to zero. These are your margins, I and mean, there is no margins, you need to go right up to the edge. Obviously you're only working with small areas, so last thing you need is it to have a margin on it. Oh dear. One one handed on the mouse and keyboard whilst holding the phone isn't the easiest task. So I'm resuming on that slightly. Get to the start of the line. Go www dot Jews baby gifts dot co dot uk I tend to find I always print low low at the box there to make it to make it print it to its best. Or why it's hence to off the top of the ribbon. I don't know why it's why it does that, but it always seems to work to get a nice print. So got that. Go in there, got a little picture saved. Little feet. I knew that was gonna happen, it's not on the right page. Close that window. Get the box up again. There we are. So it's well too big at the minute. So give that a shrink down there. Make it just about 13 millimetres tall. Plunk that on there. There we are. So Zoom back out. You go 
file, print, so it does not fit the page area. So you go to properties, edit, and the width of the ribbon is it's 15, so you put 15 in there. The length of the ribbon is 1000, but it always complains if you put 1000, saying it's too small, it's the same, so I put 1002 just to keep it happy. Click OK. You see, you, get, you find it in the instructions, but on stock it needs to be continuous. Options, I find that 10 is a good setting on satin ribbon. 100 millimeter, 101 millimeter seconds too fast. It can affect the printer head, so you change that to 50. Okay, and you're ready to print. So if you come back, look back here, click on print. There you are. As easy as that. Jojo.co.uk. You can see it's quite fast. The quality is great. And that's it. Any questions or any installation problems? You can leave me a message, I'll get back to you. Comment on the video. Any technical questions, should I help you out? Thanks for looking.